Hi everyone, this is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my March plan with me in my Scribbles That Matter bullet journal. This is the A5 dotted notebook and um, we're just going to get started. So I'm going to go ahead, draw out my plan with me for the entire month and then the first week of March and then we will come back and talk about everything at the end including the details and what I've used and again I will list all the materials I've used in this video down below in the description box so if you're curious go down there to find out and without further ado let's get into this video Just want to dance, want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. Just stay the night and believe when it's right, nothing wrong, it's alright with you. No lies, no pride, no need, so free. Don't care what you say, what you do, how you feel As long as you can show me a good time I don't need promises, honestly, no big deal As long as you can show me a good time I don't care oh, 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 oh. I 
don't wanna be so emotional just wanna dance want a simple romance nothing more nothing less from you no ties no ties no need so free i don't care what you say what you do how you feel as long as you can show me a good time i don't need promises honestly no big deal as long as you can show me a good time i don't care You and me won't last long Just stay with me for a drink And show me a good time If I wanted more than this I'd love you until I'm gone But you only get a sip So show me a good time I don't care
see, I decided to do a St. Patty's Day themed whole month. I know that St. Patty's Day is on the 17th, it's just one day, but I'm using it as inspiration for the entire month. Not only is it my birthday month of March, but it's also my lucky month because my birthday is on the 30th and March is the third month. Obviously, I consider three my lucky number. <laughs> and so anyway, I consider March lucky and plus it's spring and it's like a sign of new hope. I could go on and on. So I really like this. Um, I found this on Pinterest. Um, but I mean, I've heard this, this is the common saying and it just says prone to shenanigans and malarkey. And yeah, I just, I really like how it turned out. Um, also, I threw in some lucky horseshoes and I did have the uh, clovers. They were four leaf clovers, so they were um, shamrocks, but I changed them to three leaf because not only were they easier to draw, but they just, in my opinion, I think they look better. But um, yeah, so that's it for the cover page. The monthly page, I like how this turned out. I decided not to color in all of the drawings because I had done a drop shadow of different colored greens around all of the boxes. These boxes are five by five with one grid space in between each box. And of course I have my YouTube growth tracker at the bottom. The next spread is my list calendar. So this one I put some appointments and mostly bills. And this one is for everything else I need to do during the month. This is for YouTube. I just put my posting schedule on here as a quick reference. I have been doing all of my work for my YouTube channel, like behind the scenes kind of stuff in my happy planner. So that's something I haven't been um, filming at all. And this is a task area. So I can put everything I need to do during the month in this box. Weight tracker, I kept these spreads very simple because I wanted them very functional, but of course the green makes them really pretty. Video ideas page. So I basically just have stationery and makeup. This is my dream log. Again, I put a little bit of decoration on the page, but I prefer to keep it a little bit simple because I just highlight the date and then I write out whatever dream I have. The same thing with my doodle a day. I keep it really basic because the whole point of the page is that I'm going to have a page full of drawings. This is my habit tracker. So normally how I've changed it is I usually include my habit tracker and my mood tracker but I decided to include a sleep tracker and I just realized I made the C into an E, but that can be easily fixed. So the habit tracker, again, I've changed it. Um, sometimes I have little boxes. Sometimes I have a grid going down the other way or at the bottom. And I just changed it this time to have the little green boxes at the top of the things I like to track. So I've added a couple things this time. I've got water, vitamins, inhaler, and uh, night and day because I have to take it twice a day in the morning and at night, reading, journaling, filming, editing, Instagram, and YouTube. And I have one blank spot just in case I want to add something. My sleep tracker, I actually did this this month. I added it on after I did my February spread and it came in really handy because especially that I'm pregnant, I've been trying to track when I go to bed and when I wake up. And I've also been, it's one of my goals in my Cultivate What Matters goal planner is I'm trying to get up early and trying to go to bed early. So this actually helps me a little bit. And it's one thing that I can pull from my goals and actually make a spread in my bullet journal. So I really like how this is looking. And actually I'll show you my current one for February. It's this one here. And I've been averaging about eight, nine hours of sleep a night. So it's pretty cool. And it, you know, you can kind of track your habits, like when you go to sleep usually. So usually I stay up late on the weekend, but I go to bed super early. Well, not super early. I think the earliest I've gone to bed was 1030, but super early for me because I'm kind of a little bit of a night owl. But um, yeah, I still average about eight, nine hours of sleep a night. The next two pages, mood tracker. So usually I like to encompass the whole page full of like the coloring portion, but I made the title huge and I made the bar down at the bottom huge. So <laughs> It's going to be weird because I have green coins, but you know, there can be green coins. You never know. They might be lucky Irish coins. So these are basically going to change color depending on my mood at the bottom. I also wanted to include a gratitude track, gratitude log, not a tracker, sorry. And this is my first weekly spread. So as per usual, I have events, meals, 
tasks, groceries, and usually I have a notes section or a next week section. And this is really pretty. I've wanted to use greens for a long time. I was kind of thinking pastel green, but I couldn't do pastel when it comes to St. Patty's Day. It needs to be an emerald color. So I'm just gonna quickly go through some of the supplies I used, just like I will have them written at the bottom, but just so you have an idea of the colors I've used. So these are the three, and they don't have numbers, so I can't tell you what they are, but they are Crayola Super Tips. So just a variety of greens. And I feel like the greens I chose for everything really go together. I'm also using a Fabrello brush pen. This is the bright green shade in the pack. I have the 15 pack. I wanted to link my brush pen collection video, but I don't have that posted yet. So, and that might be posted before this video goes up. I don't know. If it is, I'll link it anyway. This is a medium brush pen and I figured it would come in really good writing in my daily, um, like the days of the week. So this will be nice. I also decided to use this Tombow 133 dual brush pen. It's just a really bright green. Another is my Sakura Koi coloring brush pen. This is the shade Emerald Green, number 226. And this is the one I used for my last Christmas as well. Um, I'll link that too if you wanna check it out. But this is my favorite green of the Sakura Koi coloring brush pens. And the two washi tapes I used were this clover one along with this sparkly green. But I have a bunch that I'll be using throughout the dailies which are these ones as well. So a whole bunch of gold and a couple of extra green ones. And the usual pens that I would use, well, before we get to the usual ones, there are a couple of other ones here. So I might use this Paper Mate Flare. It's just the dark green. And then my Zebra Mildliner Gold. This is just the highlighter, not the brush pen. And the regular pens I decided to use were the Sakura Pigma Micron Fineliner, the 03 and the 05. My um, Sigma Uniball Gel Pen, this is the Broad White UM153. These are my Tombow Food Nasuke brush pens, the hard tip and the, the soft tip, both in black. My trusty whiteout ruler, uh, rose gold clip. I will be using my Pentel Energel Liquid Gel Ink 07 throughout the month, and that's it. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This, I did take my time with it because I really, there was a lot of coloring involved and I wanted it to look nice for this month. I really, I'm really happy with this. It's um, really bright and colorful and just kind of jolts you into spring. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you're new here and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you won't miss any videos. We'll talk to you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.